Hello, my name is Jerry Ballman, and I'm a member of Cessna Customer Service Engineering Team Structures. If your aircraft is involved in an incident where one or both of the wingtip assemblies are significantly damaged, there are multiple options to consider depending on the extent of the damage and where the aircraft is located. One option would consist of on-site support with a Cessna Mobile Service Unit or on-site Cessna technicians. However, if the aircraft owner would like to relocate the aircraft to an approved repair facility, a special limitations flight or ferry flight could be performed with the wingtip assemblies removed. Please note that both wingtip assemblies will require removal to avoid a flight imbalance. Also worth noting, a Citation 10 with a winglet installation cannot be flown or ferried without the winglets installed. These aircraft must obtain a rental or new winglet assembly before being relocated. Once a mechanic has inspected the aircraft and verified there isn't damage to the wings, landing gear, and flight controls as applicable, an evaluation should be performed to determine if it is best to temporarily repair the wingtip and leave it installed or if removing the wingtip assemblies is the best course of action. If the decision is made to remove the wingtip assemblies for a ferry flight, the following procedures should be followed. Remove the wingtip assemblies in accordance with the applicable maintenance manual chapter 57 section. Clean the areas around any open holes, wiring, and all electrical connectors on the wing closure ribs. Apply aluminum speed tape over all open holes, wiring, and electrical connectors to prevent moisture intrusion and damage during flight. Use 3M425 aluminum tape, Cessna part number Alpha 840014 or an equivalent. Apply the tape with a plastic scraper or credit card to ensure tape adhesion. Have the wingtip assembly shipped to the aircraft destination or carefully secure them in the aircraft baggage compartment with tie downs. Although Cessna structures cannot provide the actual ferry flight permit for the customer, we can provide a special flight recommendations memo on Cessna letterhead upon request like this example. The memo will give a brief description of the issue, give any temporary repair instructions, and provide any recommended ferry flight restrictions and limitations. Although not necessarily required, this memo will often help the customer obtain the actual ferry flight permit from the local FISDO. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or email to csstructures at Cessna.com. Thank you.